r slash credit by Redmond Dites. How was your experience with a narcissistic person? My ex was the textbook definition of a narcissist. At first they were charming, attentive, and seemed too good to be true. And honestly, they were. Everything was great, until they slowly started eroding my self-esteem. They had a way of turning every situation into my fault. Sometimes in ways so subtle I didn't even realize it at first. If I was upset, I was too sensitive. If I was happy, they made that happen, and I should be grateful. Any time I achieved something, it was either diminished, or somehow twisted into a win for them. The worst part? The love bombing phases. After every argument, they'd come back, like they were Prince Charming again, making me feel like I was the one who misunderstood them. It was a cycle, emotional abuse, blame, then overwhelming affection to keep me hooked. Eventually, I started to lose sight of who I was before them. I became a version of myself that walked on eggshells constantly, just trying to avoid conflict. It took a lot of time, but I finally got out. Looking back, it swelled how deep in the fog I was, how much they controlled my self-worth. I'm in a much healthier place now, but it's taken time to learn that love isn't supposed to feel like a roller coaster. I hope others realize that sooner than I did. Emotionally exhausting, expensive, time consuming, disappointing. I don't think I will ever be trusting or generous again, never. Step 1. They tell you a big sob story about how hard their life is, and about how they've been wrong and betrayed, and generally been a victim their whole lives. Step 2. Love bombing. Shower you with tons of fake love and attention to get you addicted and make a lot of nice sounding promises. But make no mistake, they don't mean any of it. Step 3. The love bombing will stop and they will start to withhold from you the things they know you like. They will start breaking the promises they made. They will also start trauma bonding you to them in this phase. They will manufacture a lot of fake drama and traumatize you, then swoop in to rescue you from it. Bonus points for ruining special occasions. Step 4. Once you're trauma bonded, they will start testing you. Start arguments, gaslight, belittle, sabotage, play victim, etc. To see how much shit you're willing to take. They will pounce on any weakness they find and torture you with it. They'll lie and manipulate and project all their horrible traits onto you and make you believe it. They will take all your self-worth, initiative, independence, in their insatiable quest for more supply. All the while they'll breadcrumb you with small morsels of affection to keep you hooked. Step 5. Inevitably they'll reach a stage where they don't get enough supply from you anymore, and they get bored. So they will discard you. Literally throw you in the trash. It's not enough to just let you go and delete you from their life, no. They must absolutely destroy everything that's possible to destroy, and tell all their friends lies about how horrible you were. You may see them go on dating apps, while you're still dating, and they'll try to convince you, that it's your fault they're on there. Draining. It was all about them, all the time. Grew up with a narcissistic father. Nothing was ever his fault and he would often blame others instead of himself. He would buy junk food and eat it like it was nothing, but would not hesitate to watch me eat a burger and tell me to lose weight or I would get diabetes. He would also treat me and my sisters as slaves. Expecting us to do chores, that honestly wasn't something kids should be expected to do, but he didn't want to do it due to his extreme laziness. My personal breaking point was when my dad had lost the rent money to a online scammer, and instead of just admitting he messed up, he went to me while I was making $8 an hour at Dollar Tree. Trying to save every penny I could to finally afford a car and guilt trip me to lend him my entire savings. After a few months had passed, I decided it'd be a good time to ask for my money back. I will never forget the words he told me. I'm not gonna give you your money back because you're just gonna blow it. I was completely done with my dad at that point. I realize that are everywhere. Once you see, it's a total eye-openers. 
Happens tonight when I tried to be funny on reddit. They are everywhere. Awesome 6, shit person. Excruciatingly boring. She's my mother-in-law, it's tough for my wife, but I try to make it tougher for her. Nothing like standing up to a narcissist who's never been challenged by their family. I didn't even know that I was dealing with a narcissist. An experience that changed me forever. Learned a lot about myself. I struggle to relax because of chronic hypervigilance and expecting them, the abuser, to be around every corner. Obnoxious. I found it odd how fragile and insecure he was. He talked about himself as if he was a god, so those moments of vulnerability were surprising. They're exhausting. My recent ex was one. I've had a string of five of them in a seven year period, and I'm becoming so familiar with the pattern that I'm optimistic to steer clear from here on out. Basically they are very superficial, bond attach, get top clothes, then the mask falls off, isolation period, blame you for everything they've done, lies exposed, violence, end. If you don't leave, it repeats and repeats and repeats. It feels like insanity. Doing the same thing over and over, and expecting a different result. I never heard my husband say he was wrong. Apologies were rare, and when they happened I took note. All that mattered was that he was happy and that was usually at my expense. He was smarter than everyone he knew. But he knew I was his intellectual match and he did everything to keep me in my place. Gaslighting was common. Criticism was constant. It was unrelenting and tortuous. But I loved him and would never leave. I harbored deep fantasies of burst aneurysms and cardiac arrest. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more. Have a nice evening.